Brittany wrote a new book on tarot cards and faith with the hope that you, Christian, will pick up these occultic items and use them to strengthen your faith. Brittany describes her years in college as a Catholic who fell away from the faith but always wanted something in her life, so she began using tarot cards. And she found that these tarot cards, even though they have occultic tendencies and are used often, well, they have virtues on them. And she found them to be Christian virtues. And, and in her research, she says that these tarot games are Italian and really weren't occultic initially. So she believes we can take something the occult uses and sanctify it by going to their old practices and therefore they're good for your faith. I want to compliment Brittany. She's a nice writer. She's kind and gentle in the way that she speaks. But I have to ask the honest question, of all the things to find Christ in, occultic practice, do we really live in a world that Bibles are so vapid and not found that we need to find Christ in everything but the scriptures? I'm not saying you can't sing or have devotionals or other things. I'm saying big picture, this idea of sanitizing occultic practices to help you build faith. I think that goes back to her Catholic background. That's really not on the scriptures. It's on tradition and what the nun and the priests and others say. There's a comfort for us as Christians. No, no, no. Well, what does the Bible say? What does God have for me? Whether I listen to Bible Gateway in my car on the way to work or I read it at home, this is truth. I don't have to sanitize anything man-made to try to make it better. I can find his truth every day for free. Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. God's word is true and always will be. You take anything man-made, it's going to be messy, it's going to be challenging, it's going to be difficult. In fact, there's, there's nothing more comforting to me when people will contact me and say, Pastor, I used to watch those devotions online, I appreciate it, I don't watch them anymore, I just read my Bible every morning. And I say, great, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing 713 of these devotions, and if, if that drives more people to turn me off and open their Bibles, then my prayer is answered. My goal is not to create a following or make money off of you. My goal is that you would praise the Lord by reading his word. And that is truth. And that is life.